Hi guys, welcome back to another vegan vegetarian food list so you don't have to do the research and I'll do it for you. This time I'm in Oslo, Norway. First up on this list is a brunch place called Creperie de Marie. You were a child crawling on your knees toward it Making mama so proud But your voice is too loud, 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 loud. We like to ask like You actually order on your phone with the barcode and there's a whole section of just vegan options so i have a chip which is all this stuff here by the way and it has spinach tomato cheese egg and a side of salad which the salad is on top of the strip. So I got a savory crib but they also offer sweet ones. Also I would like to say this place is incredibly busy so they opened at 11 today. I came at like 11.15. It was already halfway packed but now it's 11.30 and it's there's like two tables that are free. Mm. Next on this list is Dirty Vegan. I guess this would be a two for one. So Dirty Vegan is actually in Barcode Street Food, which is one of the many food halls here in Oslo. And with that being said, Dirty Vegan is the only full vegan food stall here, but all the other food stalls in this food hall have vegan or vegetarian options. So I got the garlicky turkey fries which have chicken strips on it along with jalapenos, pickled onions, barbecue sauce, and I believe mayo. It smells great. This is basically it's like loaded fries but with chicken strips on there. This is great. Whatever sauce this is, the combination of sauces, really tasty. Next on this list is Monsi Noodle Box. I just got a vegan ramen. So they have a full separate menu that is just vegan items. So vegan noodles or rice or starters. I got fried banana with vanilla ice cream. It smells so good. The fried banana is hot, so it's kind of like, you know, like the warm brownie with ice cream. Kind of like that, but not a warm brownie. The fried banana and ice cream is really tasty, but I must say the ratio to ice cream and banana is not a Good also, this is not vegan. Next on this list is a good place for breakfast and brunch, and it's a vegetarian place called Kuni Asobita. I got a matcha latte 
So this place has vegan and vegetarian options and some of the vegetarian options can turn into vegan so I got a Turkish breakfast So I took a BBQ Melody which has I believe rice noodles and steak so it has like tofu steak and then other steak which I believe maybe might be made as sutan but the whole idea of this place is that you can either build your bowl whether that's like a noodle bowl or a rice bowl or you can choose set bowls that already have its toppings in it there was too many juice from from the little bar thing because there was like lasagna there was like sausage coquette thingies but I just went with a set menu I also got kombucha a very the tofu steak really flavorful. A place to add to this list is Oslo Street Food. So it's just basically a huge haul of food, and there is actually a plant based stand there and so many vegan vegetarian options. Next on this list is for the sweet tooths out there and it's ice crime. So this place is not just vegan ice cream, it's vegan ice cream options and just regular ice cream. Next on this list is Cultivate Food. So the concept of this place is actually pretty similar to No Vegan, which is also on this list. You come in and there's just a bar of food that you can choose from and they will make a plate for you. And to be quite honest, I feel like this place is the more affordable vegan restaurant on this list. So I got the taco bowl which comes with corn, cheese, and nacho chips. Mm. This is good. Next on this list is Oslo Raw. This place is so huge. There's actually a lot of seats and there's so many people in line. But yes, like I said, so many seats so I feel like you don't even have to worry about not finding a seat. So I got a pistachio raw cake, which all their cakes here are raw, a matcha latte, and a Greek wrap.
So the wrap is really good. It has feta because it's vegan. It has hummus, it's tomatoes, and cucumber and spinach. Now for the cake. Wow. Mm. This is so good. Next on this list is Mop Holland, which is a food hall. So there are tons of vegetarian options here. So also it's filled with food halls and all the food halls here have vegan and vegetarian options. Next on this list is Eat Have Me Vegan. So I got pho, which this place is actually a Vietnamese place, and it has vegan beef in it. To be honest, I haven't had pho in years, so she told me to put poison sauce in it. But I'm going to taste the broth first. Oh, oh. Really tasty. Mm. Okay. Poison sauce. That's all. Yes. Mm. I am going to end this vegan vegetarian list here. I hope this list helped you so you don't have to do all the research. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and check out my other videos because I have other vegan vegetarian lists in other cities. Please like this video if you do, and I'll see you next time. Bye!